and this isn't uh, good news at all, especially for India's biggest government bank. Uh, Sakshi has more on that. Sakshi, because the state bank has just written to the stock exchanges today which in, with something which actually converts their profit into loss. What are the details? Absolutely. A fresh red flag from India's central bank. And remember, the impact of this, as per the document we have, shows that the state bank of India witnessed a loss in fiscal year 19, a loss of nearly 7,000 crores, as opposed to a profit reported by the bank of over 800 crores. Now, how has RBI come up with this finding? There is, of course, a divergence uh, under reporting of bad loans. For our viewers to understand, bad loans imply any loan that cannot be repaid to the bank. And so, therefore, this is what the RBI is saying in a study conducted. When NDTV tried to reach out to SBI, the management said very clearly that they will comply with the regulator. They also said there's a difference in interpretation. And perhaps this is why there is, of course, this huge underreporting. However, you and I need to be worried because, remember, this is the country's largest lender. And, of course, the stock did uh, slump throughout the day. It closed lower by over 1%. Right. And, in fact, the market's down today also, Sakshi. Why was that? Well, the markets were down and tumbling because, of course, there was a broad-based sell-off. The sentiment wasn't very high. And, uh, you know, while we may want to relate that to various uh, factors, the fact of the matter is experts believe that heavyweights are only pulling this market higher in the previous sessions. And so now they feel, of course, in terms of mid-caps and small-caps, all our other stocks have not been doing well. And they feel that is why perhaps there was a broad-based sell-off throughout of the trading day today.